What's up YouTube, Tommy Har with The Real Side of Real Estate. Today I'm back at our farmhouse flip. We actually just sold this property today. I just signed my closing docs back at the office on online notary. So I wanted to take you back to the house, show you the finished product. I'm gonna show you some befores, some afters. I'm gonna run through real life margins, talk about how much money we made, uh, how we raised capital for this deal, um, some lessons along the way, and uh, some things I wish we would have done versus what we maybe shouldn't have done. So I hope you enjoy this video, it's gonna be cool, and uh, let's get it. If you guys haven't watched the videos we shot on this already, we actually shot, I think, two, maybe three videos longer form on this. We're gonna put it down in the show notes. Our first time we walked it, and I think after we got to mechanicals, so this house was completely stripped down to the studs. We bought it sight unseen from a wholesaler for $78,000. Now this property's in Columbus, Ohio. It's a little bit on the outskirts. So it's, it's not built all that conventionally. So when we got in, we stripped it down. We realized that the main beam was completely fell in and we had to literally redo the entire flooring system. So I realized right away, and I'll show you a video right after I cut from this scene, is I was in this house, man, I was super scared that we were gonna lose money on this house. I thought for sure that I was in over our heads. I thought 250 in which we sold it for was gonna be a little bit on the high end, was hopeful thinking, but we crushed this renovation. My project manager, Bruce, all my people, man, they went stupid on this house. So we're gonna cut to a before video to kind of show you what this looked like and then come inside, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. As we start to walk inside this house, you can see that this house is absolutely destroyed, right? So the upstairs is falling in, the downstairs is falling in. So here you have the flooring system for upstairs. And if you can see this in the video, I hope you can, it's completely falling inward. So as you just saw in that video, this house was stripped all the way down. There was a beam running here that all the way fell through. The crawl space was rotted. So we literally did all new framing from this side of the house all the way across, all new ceiling rafters all the way across. So this house was literally a shell. We took it from a shell now to an insanely beautiful functional house. Uh, just a nice living space, a beautiful open kitchen. This, uh, this house has kind of been a pain in the butt. You know, I mean, the bi a big rehab. When I walked in the first time, I was scared. I was like, man, what are we gonna do? And once you sign on the dotted line, and I bought this house from pictures, once you sign on the dotted line, you just gotta man up and, and, and figure it out. So after, after you have that feeling, you just have to come back and be like, okay, what can I do? What can I control? Okay, my framers are decent. They're actually really good. They came in, and once they frame that up, you can start to see the end vision. So take it piece by piece, component by component, and um, it's not as scary as um, you would think. But if you look at it all in a whole and you overwhelm yourself, it's really tough. Another thing we had to do towards the end and another thing you should be doing in your rehabs that are out in rural areas are gonna be well tests and septic tests. Now we did not have any water. Uh, the people that lived here before had five years of no running water. So we had to kind of just take a gamble and the gamble failed us. We had to, the well was completely dried up. We had to, we had to dig a brand new well out in the front of the house. I believe that cost us $8,000 and then a new well pump and water softener system cost us another $4,000. So we paid $12,000 of unseens on um, water systems. So without that, we would have made more. But we bought this house for 78. We ended up putting a little over 116 into this house and we just sold it today for $260,000. Now, if you're watching HGTV or you're watching these places, they're like, oh, we made, and what's the math on that? 70-ish grand. Now, we raised capital for our deals, so we paid about $8,000 in uh, interest to our private money lenders, fully funded purchase and renovation from a private money lender, meaning we had none of our own cash in this deal the entire time, we just had to manage it. So $8,000 of them for the whole time we had, and then we also, of that 260, we pay 5% for realtor fees, which off the top of my head I don't have, but that brings it down. And then on top of that, when you're selling houses on the market, you're gonna have what's called closing costs and seller concessions. And we had to pay about $10,000 of closing costs and seller concessions for this buyer to come in and purchase this house. And when they did do their inspection, everything checked out, obviously because it's brand new, but they also wanted a brand new roof. And I didn't wanna put it back on the market because I wanted to make my money now instead of maybe in 45 days. So you have to make that decision too. Do you, do you play ball with these buyers or do you risk putting it back on the market and dropping the price and the listing gets stale. So it's completely up to you guys, but uh, in my experience, your best buyer is going to be your first buyer. 
So you can see this is our typical finished package on these houses, uh, very functional, somewhat basic, but this thing sells uh, in most of our houses in the first time home buyer market. Let's go over here. Let me show you uh, a couple other things that we did um, and some of the lag times that we had. Now, we didn't have water this whole time and we had to wait for the health department. So we had to keep, so this side of the house was pretty much finished. We kept this flooring undone until we could have all that plumbing and we knew there was no leaks. So make sure that you're jumping ahead of these things as you're renovating houses. So make sure any lag measures, lag times like windows, or working with a permit department or health department. Make sure you're doing that first, running gas lines. Those things are gonna really, really hold you up if you're not careful. So we added, we framed in this half bathroom right here. Beautiful little half bath. And then created this hallway, which is gonna be all of our mechanical systems, minus our water heater, which is tucked under here. Now this, is a crawl, this, is, this house sits on a full crawl, so you have to be mindful of that when you're selling houses as well is storage. Where are people gonna store stuff, especially if you don't have a garage? So no basement, no garage, you gotta be really mindful of that. So we were willing to put in a shed, but we also upstairs put in um, some extra closet space for these buyers. And my contractor, he was like, Tom, I wanna go crazy on these stairs, I wanna do something a little different. We said, Alberto, do your thing. And uh, he came up with this, which is pretty cool. So we, have, we allow our contractors to be a little bit um, crafty, if they have cool ideas, we kind of let them run with it because they're doing a lot, of, a lot of work for us. Up here, if you watched that video before, there was literally no flooring systems. You walked up the top of the stairs here and you could have went like this and fell all the way down to the first floor. So, I mean, you could feel it now, one budge. We built this thing rock solid and uh, it's, it's beautiful now. This used to be a door leading to the outside. Now you got a nice window huge bedrooms. I mean, these bedrooms are absolutely massive. Uh, we got our LVP, if you have my material list, this is all the things that we use in pretty much every one of our rehabs. Bedroom here. Oh, and another thing that I was, so to sell this house, they wanted the, this window here and this window here replaced because those we actually didn't replace. And I knew that windows are taking us three to four weeks right now and they wanted to close in two weeks. So what I did my request to remedy is I did my roof and I agreed to do windows, but in my request to remedy, I said, hey, you guys agree, we agree to do the windows, but you guys agree to close on this house and we'll escrow some money and show receipts that we've paid for the windows and we'll install them after we close. So instead of waiting for our money for another two weeks, we get our money now and now we just have to facilitate the contractors to come through. So everything in real estate can be negotiated and you just gotta be a little bit witty about it and uh, figure out how it can make it a win-win. Then lastly, we have our full bath. So if you guys remember this, I don't even know if we shot this because we couldn't even really get in here. Once again, storage and functionality. We moved our laundry up here. So a little bit of storage, a little bit of laundry and our big bathroom with some storage over here. I mean, just turned into a beautiful, beautiful rehab that um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with. No, we, we spent about, like I said, 180, 190,000 bucks. And we spent four months on this rehab, I think. I think four months start to finish. I, I would like to make a little bit more. I think we, we netted about 35 grand on this. Would like to make a little bit more. But in the beginning of that video you just watched, I was talking to my project manager, Bruce, the first time I walked it, I was like, dude, what, the, what in the hell do we get ourselves into? This house is a nightmare. So happy to get out, happy to put out a good product. And at the end of the day, I'm in this to make money. I'm happy to make some bread. A rehab like this can be incredibly scary, especially if you don't have the right knowledge. But remember, everything follows a, a procedure. So you have to start with framing, then you do your mechanicals, then you do your drywall. So if you compartmentalize these things and you take it step by step and you have the right hired help, these rehabs are not as hard as you think. And remember, Nobody wanted to buy this house. Everybody was lowballing it or scared and they couldn't move this. So we made about 40 grand on a house that nobody else wanted. That makes me feel really good that we're willing to take on things people aren't, meaning I'm gonna make more money and get deals other people aren't. So if you yourself wanna learn how to do this, if you wanna learn the real side of how to renovate houses, find really good deals and do things that others are not, Click the link in the description below. Let's hop on a phone call and let's see if you're a good fit for our mentorship, the real side of real estate community. And 
I am excited to speak with you. Until the next one, subscribe and like. Let's get it.